Okay, the first thing we want to do when we're setting up this effect is to know that this is where we want everyone to end up. So what we're going to do is add a new set. And we want this set to be 16 counts long. So let's double click the set marker. And make that 16 counts. Now, if this is where we want everyone to end up, then this is set two, and we want to change set one. So let's select everyone, and I'm gonna hold down the command key so that I can rotate them by degrees. And let's move them to a new spot. And let's quickly take a look at how that looks. Press the space bar to play. All right, that'll do for now. Uh, next thing I want is I want everyone to be facing backfield because what's gonna happen is they're gonna run backfield into this new set and then they're gonna ripple to facing front from the top right corner to the bottom left. So let's go ahead and go to set one and open up performance detail tool and tell everyone to face back field. And that's just as easy as that. Good, now at this point is where our ripple's gonna happen, but it needs time to happen, so they're gonna be standing there for a set. So let's unlock the timeline and make this eight counts long, lock the timeline again. And let's zoom in on that so we can see what's going on. Okay, now, uh, in order to get this ripple to go from corner to corner, what I'm gonna do, we have everyone selected already, but they're selected in form order. So what I really want is to change that. And what I'm gonna do is go halfway through this rotation until they're somewhat shaped like a diamond. Uh, that, one, that one should do right there. And we'll go to selection ordering and sort them vertically, sort vertical. Now the red, dark red is the beginning of my selection and the light pink color is the end of my selection. So if I look at what's happening here, they get here. And if I set my set my body facing to happen now, they'll ripple from the start of my selection to the end of my selection. So what I need to do is reverse that order. And my selection is now set up. So let's go back into performance detail. And what we're going to do is press body facing front. But first, we want it to happen as a ripple, not as an instantaneous action. So we need to set up our multi-range sliders. And the multi-range sliders are gonna tell Envision how long this action is going to take. So let's set it up as a four count action. So we have four counts in between our two sliders and let's just press body facing front. And as we scroll over that, we can see people moving. And if we audition the entire thing, everyone's facing back field and then they all ripple to the front, but it's kind of slow. It's not really the effect that I was going for. So let's uh, expand the event editor and here's our initial action where we faced everyone back. And here is where we made a ripple. So let's just press delete. And we still have everyone in the order that we want them. So all we need to do is come back here. And let's make this two counts long instead of four. Again, press body facing front. And let's take a look.
And there you have it.